not we, it's not weird and blinking. We're, we're, we're not, yeah, yeah. So John, another connect. So Dave, another connect. <laughs> <laughs> um, you, you gave a really good keynote on Monday. Yeah, where I you thought it was moderately okay. Yeah, I think it was up to your usual standard, more than your usual standard. Apparently it was a Steve note. It was good, it was, it was a good. Steve it was one more note. thing, yes. which is good. Yeah. Um, so where well, you announced that Red Hat have plans. So um, last year was all about getting all the various acts together around ARMv8 server software and boot architecture and yeah. preparation, really. Yeah. Um, what's 2014 about for, for you and Red Hat? I think this year's about finishing it. This year's about, we laid some foundation last year. And this year, if we complete some of the activities we've been working on, so there's a lot of stuff we'll have to do, and we, we know what we want. As you would say, we know we know we've got the CFI stuff, ACPI yeah. stuff. We kind of know how it goes together. We we know how to do it. We just need to actually finish it. Right. So last year was was all about yeah we've got to do Figuring it architecture. Out. Yeah. yeah, it's UPI. Is it ACPI? Is yeah. it something else? Yeah. yeah. And this year it's all about making it all work in a way that's product ready, you know, yeah. deployable. Yeah. Um, in the scramble to do that, and as new hardware comes out. Yes. Corners get cut. Yes. These wonderful, these lines you've drawn in the sand may yes. get blurry. Yes. Uh, where are we on lines in the sand, ACPI, flattened device, all of that stuff? Well, the cool thing about being the Red Hat guy here is um, we don't make revenue from ARM today. And I'm not saying that we are going to make revenue from ARM in the future. I specifically didn't say anything about when I'm going to ship a supported product. But um, what, what I what I do think is, since we don't make revenue from ARM today, um, we can choose the rules that we play by. And, 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 and these rules are really different from the rest of ARM. ARM in the mobile yeah. space is, yeah. you know, yeah. hack code, cut, run, clean up, yeah. um, loosely. I and mean, that works in the mobile space very well, because the, the problem in the mobile space is, you make a product, you ship it, ah crap, it's been around three months, it's already obsolete, it's, so you make another one, right? And then so the, it's not pink, it's no. not shiny, it's, yeah. it's, it's a nice pink shirt, I need one of those pink shirts. Yeah. Yeah. Well, but, you could have be able to wear a pink shirt. You know. It's on the it's on the to do. Um, but the thing is, so so um uh, so in the server space though, you've got like a product that lives for five years or forever. Basically. Oh, we've got all these pans coming through here. Ah! So um, in the server space, you've got products that live forever. And the problem is um, that well, the benefit of that is that since it does live forever, you've got a little bit more time. You can have a bit more constraint. There's more revenue that goes. So how, how many releases does Red Hat make? How often is there a Red Hat release? On the, on the supported enterprise product, it's really every three years or so there's a major release. So you're trying to fit into that schedule with yeah. a new architecture from yeah. a set of companies that are basically very used to driving the mobile space. Yeah, it's exciting, so isn't they, it? They have a, like a yearly release cycle or a And then you tell them, and you're trying to fit into a stable that's nice. three year one with a new yeah. architecture. That's right. Difficult. That's right. That's right. A whole new I equate it to yeah, and no hardware yet. No, it's like it's like um, you're on a ship traveling at warp speed and you're building the warp core. That's roughly how I. <laughs> <laughs> that's roughly how I uh, how I equate building it. Building the stargate. We're building the foundation, <laughs> and we're already in the in the in the in the office tower, right? Yeah, so. right. You've got neutrinos coming at you, and you're trying to funnel them through the uh, yeah through the, yeah. So no pressure. Through the ram scoop and uh, and build the yeah okay and but, the shielding. But the cool thing again, because we don't because we don't make money from ARM today. We can choose how we how we engage, and the, the, I think I think actually one thing I said in the keynote that I think was good was we get to we get to we can come in and we can try not to be too arrogant about it because I don't want to be like oh thank you very much we're from Red Hat we'll take it from here you know I don't want to be like the FBI guy in every in every movie where I come in and say yes I got the badge look at me right but what I can do is I can say out of the way. <laughs> exactly yes yes thank you yeah. well, it's out of the way here well, well it's just, the server guys the server guys are here yeah, ACPI right yes cute embedded nonsense hacks not so much yeah no um, but what I can do is I can say um, we don't make money yet so if we're going to do that here's how we're going to do it and um, we can do good things. So one thing that I think people really liked yesterday was I said, we only ship upstream code. And in the ARM space, sometimes a lot of market pressure to just kind of do out of tree stuff. And we only ship upstream. It's very, it's one of Red Hat's fundamental things. Yeah, that particularly around device drivers. And, yeah. And by that, not just device drivers in the kernel, but device drivers in UEFI. And That's right. Because the, they're everywhere. That's right. So what we can do is, we're, we're, we're willing to say, for example, we're working heavily on the ACPI stuff, and we think it's important. So in the preview that I announced, we're going to have ACPI patches that are not fully upstream, because we're kind of maintaining them, and we're working on upstreaming that. So you know, there's a little bit of a compromise there in the preview. Yeah. In the yeah. preview. Um, 
but but we can bend the rules, that, bend the rules we that we make. Yeah. But the thing with the drivers is, we're saying if we bend the rules for one partner, if it's if it's for SOC, so you bend the rules for one, you have to bend the rules for everyone. Yeah. So yeah. you can't do that. And also, you don't do transitions because transitions are forever. So you just say, okay, well, no, here's yeah. how we're going to well, do it. Or, or for three years, or, yeah. or even longer. Or whatever. You know. So you say, well, here's how we're going to do it. And if the world can work in that way, then we can play. And if not, right. then... And do, do you think this helps the engineers in those companies? I think so. You, give them, you basically say, because they can say, look at the big bad Red Hat guy. He yeah, said, we, Hat had to do, me to he do said we had to do the standards. You know? <laughs> yeah. And then, you know, Frank Frankowski. No, they, the they want to put, yeah. put the code upstream. So you're allowing them to say to their right. companies, Red Hat's telling me, I must do it. Yeah. You know, don't stop yeah. me doing it. Those this. guys forced me to be upstream. You know? yeah, they're, they're making me good partners. Yes, yeah. they're making yeah. me do the right thing. Yeah, so it's nice to have, you can be a carrot and a stick. Yeah, that's, that's a quote that's going to haunt you. You can be a carrot and a stick. At the same time, depending on the day. Get a, get a t-shirt, mate. I'm either a carrot or a stick. No, I've got, I've got to get a cute, cute and better nonsense hack t-shirt. Actually, in the talk... I do cute and better nonsense hacks, and I think they're awesome. Yeah. In the in the talk, the second keynote. Uh, by the way, I thought Sri's Comcast keynote was really good. Today. Yeah. But in the second keynote, um, he, he 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 used a phrase I really like, which is, "If you care about ARM, you care about the Noro." Yes. And I think that's really good. So you're saying if you care about server, you care about Red Hat. So here are the rules. And you care about upstream. And you care about upstream. And, and I want everyone who does ARM servers, Linux-powered ARM servers, to be in on ARM. Yes. Well, no, not yet. Maybe there might be. I hear there might be one day. But why, why shouldn't we just change the rules for server? Make them all like make them all. Make them all. Yeah. yeah why, why should we pander to that 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 regulation and that? that damn it! We use these use these standards. Come on, get get. Surely it works for the mobile up, space. Just, yeah. yeah. Stop worrying about this. Well, Do it all differently. I don't know. Maybe we have a few drinks later. We might decide to change the rules. I think. I think. I think one thing. I one thing I want people to do is. Uh, I want I want everyone who's getting involved in ARM servers to join Linux. Yeah, it, Linux ARM servers. I, you do selfishly, and I do selfishly too, because because if they're in LEG, then we can work together and solve problems. So yes, Linaro does pay my salary and mortgage and lets me buy. And you wearing your branded? I am wearing the shirt, so it is good that companies join Linaro. However, it aligns with my personal philosophy yeah. about open source and working together. So it's one of those business and uh, kind of personal philosophy things that does, yes. does join together. So yes. uh, so yeah, I get it. And also, collaboration happens by people being in the room and in the conversation yeah. together. Yeah. And there's a lot of power in that. We had, uh, we're doing a bunch of committees. I hate committees, but I keep forming them, right? And I run committees. Well, and I every afternoon this week, I'm in committees and running committees. Um, and we occasionally get a guest in to have a look at what happens in these committees. And, and three. Uh, from Comcast was in the toolchain discussion we were having yesterday about which version of GCC. And he thought it was amazing that all these companies, you know, got Samsung saying one thing, ARM saying something, and the, yeah. you know, and, and that sort of conversation you can have if you join a group and yeah. it's, you know. If I say, if I go to, if I go to uh, a semiconductor X and I say, let's have a meeting with semiconductor Y, then they go, oh, don't know about that, not sure that's going to work. And then, but if you have an industry forum that's a non-profit, that's not yeah. motivated for anything if other than just watch, watch saving humanity, stuff, yeah, yeah, we can save humanity here and then we can have secret meetings elsewhere and, yeah. and you know, and yeah. it's, you know. Yeah. I think it works pretty well. And you, of course, were fundamental in helping set up Leg. So, I mean, Lenaro is my child. And LEG yeah. is one of mine. And, yeah, and we, yeah, yes, you, you, I am its godfather, but yes. you are its, one of its parents, yes. is yes. the way I look at it. Speaking of Leg. which, we should, tell, we should tell the people watching a funny story. Um, I'll tell one so funny many. story. There are so many <laughs> funny... I'll, I'll, I'll say one. So, one time, I'm visiting Dave, and... Um, I look at a, uh, was a, a school we picture. We were listening to music and on the yes, wall. Yes, yes. From a school photograph, you know, the classic English photograph yes. of all the children, the yes. teachers, and the, the yes. football, and the little yes. boy with. My yes. son had blonde hair, still yes. has actually. So he's six foot three now, not so little. But anyway, there's a picture of my son at school in his class with yes. hair. And uh, John's there listening to music, we've eaten, some beers might have been taken. Yeah, yeah. And, um, and, and uh, he says, What's that? I said, oh, that's a photo of my, my son at school. And he said, oh, that, that looks familiar. Which school is that? <laughs> uh, and I say, that's Leighton Park in, yeah. uh, in, in Reading. And he goes... My mum taught there. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So my mum taught his son so we, in school. So we go and look at the photograph. Yes, there's, there's, there's my mother, there's yeah. 
Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so, so, so it's a very small and world. His mum remembers my son. Very and Steve well, remembers yes, uh, yes. your mum. Yeah. You know, they both sort of it's a very both small happy world. that they. Yeah, it's very strange. So but, I keep uh, having these wonderful things with Lenaro, <laughs> where we all know each other in weird and wonderful ways, and we all hang out, and it's kind of like a family. Yeah, Lenaro. Well, I, I have people called John staying at my house. Yeah. John is one of three Johns who stays yeah. at my house. Yeah. Another John is from Arm, called John Black. Yeah. He does a lot of the modelling work in the fast models. And obviously, Mad Dog, John Mad Dog yeah. Hall stays there. So, I, I, you know, as long as you call John, I'll invite you, you can, can stay. stay. Yeah. yeah. It's, it's good luck finding any other industry forum <laughs> like this one, where you randomly have all these sort of family connections. And yeah. it's, uh, well, it's Mad good. Dog brought a friend last time. He brought a Brazilian friend called Lucas. Yeah. You know, Lucas, big into open source in Brazil, amazing. Uh, but he's uh, Lucas runs a bar, owns a bar on the on the seafront down in Brazil. Oh, that must suck. And, uh, I don't know. Sea. It's better oh, than that. Yeah. He runs a consortium for beer making. <laughs> so he's kind of doing open from source a bar beer by making. The no, no. Beach. They have all the brewing equipment, and you bring your gear and you brew beer, which is when Mad Dog brews some of his beer. He brews some in New Hampshire, some there. So anyway. Mad Dog stayed, and he randomly invited Lucas to stay as well. I don't know how this works. And Lucas, being Brazilian, said, um, well, I'm going to thank you by cooking for you. So he arrived with all this food and cooked. So, well, and John, there yes, I'll, I'll, I'll square the circle. John has decided he'd like to learn to cook. So I, John stays with me, but I, and, I, and he says, oh, what's for, what are we eating? I say, ah, <laughs> first we're cooking. That was the thing so I, I, taught, I taught John how to make pakoras, which are, you know, if you like vegetables, and, you Deep know, fried, it's pretty very nice. So what have you cooked lately? Hummus. Yeah. The most exciting oh, thing I'm doing is making hummus. From scratch, you can Yeah, I need to. I need to. I need. To, I, I. I was the. I was the forever the, the the bachelor living by himself with a kitchen filled with so much computer equipment. No, but the last time I visited John's house, it, it, it was incredibly noisy and crowded because he had these pre-production arm servers with these huge in my living room. Yeah, it's yeah. very very welcoming my house. Yeah, <laughs> it's just that yeah. plausible deniability, yeah. so that you didn't. You were doing. You were doing a keynote for for the Red Hat Red conference. Yeah. You were getting yeah. getting it all you set up. You got that bicycle on the corner. Yeah, 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 yeah. That was it. Yeah. 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 So yeah. let's do that. So. Yeah. Anyway, well, this is good. So the only thing you're cooking now is ACPI. That's right. Device That's three. right. I'm conspiring <laughs> now. <laughs> yeah. Now this year's a conspiracy, and then uh, and then we'll see where we get to next year. But you have to stay tuned to find out more. <laughs>